It's a beautiful, calm day at the Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue, but our production manager, Julie, knows that it's not always so quiet here, right, Julie? No, it's not. In June, I had a fire at my house, and Troy and his crew responded. Well, I was just really impressed because I turned around the corner, and instant panic sets in when you see, you know, fire trucks in front of your house, the sirens, all of the neighbors in your front yard watching what's going on, and I just, I couldn't move, I couldn't think, I didn't, I didn't know what to do, and Troy explained everything to me really clearly, and kind of watched me fall apart and have a breakdown, and the cool thing was afterwards, when we were staying at the hotel, because we spent, you know, the summer living in a hotel while the house was being repaired, he actually called me a few days afterwards just to check in that we we're okay, that we'd been hooked up to resources, we had a place to stay, and what really touched me was he complimented me on my son and how my son handled himself during the fire and how my son kind of saved the day. Well, I've never been in an engine bay before, but I have now. I'm in the King City Fire Station with Captain Troy Spiesel. Did I get that right? You did. Welcome. Thank you. Um, one of the things that Julie says about you is that she was just so impressed about your follow-up call after her house fire. Do you always do that? Uh, we try to make a, a purpose of uh, making the people feel comfortable. You know, the uh, fires can be really traumatic. Uh, especially even small ones, you know, not a lot of damage like in her case, but uh, you know, it's just a traumatic event. It doesn't happen all the time, so uh, uh, you know, I, we try to make a point to uh, make it, people feel comfortable. That's a lot of our job. Obviously, you respond to fires, but what other things that do you do here at the fire station? Well, over 70% of our calls are medical calls in the fire, fire district. You know, we have operate 22 fire stations, uh, so we respond to a lot of medical calls as well. Uh, a majority of us are paramedics, uh, cross-trained uh, with the firefighters, and uh, so we're always training. There's always new things coming out, a lot of things that we're always uh, doing here at the station. Not to get too heavy, but it's a really heavy subject matter. How do you deal with all the trauma that you experience? Well, we get a couple days off, number one, to kind of go home. We come to work. We work 24-hour shifts uh, every third day. So uh, we come to work. Uh, we kind of, you know, what's different about our occupation is we're kind of like a family. We come for 24 hours. Uh, we're not like a cubicle uh, office environment. So we really get to know the guys. We have fun with each other, which uh, helps with that, as well as then we get to have our time off and go home and be with our families and loved ones. What do you do to entertain yourselves? Uh, we have a ping pong table here we can play. Uh, we have a full workout room. Every fire station has a full workout room. Uh, that's kind of a priority. I don't know if Julie told you, but I'm one hell of a ping pong player. Really? Mm -hmm. You care for a match? Let's go upstairs. All right. <laughs>